Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality. I mean your you strength. Good luck. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Now then. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists. I wish you good luck. Might be the announcement room. I feel like I'm being led somewhere. Hey, you there! You're one of them participants in that their Grand Prix thing, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's the big idea? You could poke someone's eye out swinging that thing around. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Sorry ain't gonna cut it. What were you gonna do if you hurt one of the students here, huh? You can't go pulling that stuff without student council approval. All right, the jig is up. I'm putting the kibosh on this tournament right now. Hey, wait, hold on a second. I'm not in this because I want to be. I'm trying to stop the tournament. Why are you here, by the way? Wait, did you fall inside a TV? Fall inside a TV? What kind of nonsense is that? I'm Yu Narukami. I was a second year at Yasugami High until last year. Huh? Last year? But that uniform... Oh no, this is... Uh, kind of my usual equipment when I'm in the TV world. Equipment? Uh, never mind. Uh, forget it. Well, if you were only around till last year, I ain't gonna blame you for not knowing. I'm the new student council president. Nice meeting you. Now 
it's your turn to spill. You said you ain't in the tournament because you want to be. Then what are you doing here? And what's this tournament about in the first place? So if I got this right, you didn't start this, but your friend did. Hmm. Well, you don't seem like you're lying. What is this? Who'd go to all this trouble? Oh, ho, ho, ho. are you on a hot date, Sensei? Well, that's fine with me, of course. But shouldn't you keep your mind on the fighting? Wow, you look so mortified. That's the face I was hoping to see! <laughs> hey, you! You're the ringleader of this mess, aren't you? What's the idea? Raising a ruckus like this without running it by the student council. Pack it in and clean all this up already. Take it from here. It's all right. There's nothing to worry about. That was pretty harsh, Teddy. Hard to believe a womanizer like you would say such things. Huh. What's so attractive about a shameless liar like her? Liar? You know something about her? Nothing. Are you alright? Has anything odd happened to you? What? No, I, I don't think so.
Nanako might be in here. I'm heading to the announcement room where Teddy is. I need you to protect this girl from me. She might be a victim of all this. Why do I have to do that? It's not like I know her or anything. Yukiko, not you too. Calm down and listen to me. Can you understand what I'm saying? Huh? What are you saying all of a sudden? I can hear you clearly. What did you mean by you too? This is probably a trick the enemy is playing on us. They're trying to get us to fight each other. I'll say it one more time, Yukiko. I'd like you to protect this girl for me. Sorry, but, um, I don't know how to put this. It just feels like you're being really selfish. You always help people who have nothing to do with you, and I admire that. But where does that leave us? It's always your friends who get put in danger because of your self-centeredness. Sorry, but you need to stay back. Whatever you see here, try to stay calm. Promise me you won't run away. Persona! Sakuya. Finally! But you can <laughs> That's like it hurts! Easy enough! 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 All this animosity! 
these cocky, self-righteous friends showing how they really feel by beating the crap out of each other. That's the real thrill of the P1 Grand Prix! It's all right. Thanks, though. It's not all right! Sorry, but you're not getting your wish. What? Did you think this would be all it took to break us apart? That it would make us hate each other? Sorry to say, but that's a huge mistake on your part. I believe in my friends. They'll never get taken in like that. You're so stupid! What kind of sensei are you? I'm warning you now. If you really are Teddy, then we'll get you back to normal no matter what it takes. But if you're an imposter hiding behind Teddy's face, I will make you pay for toying with us. <laughs> Come around. Yukiko, are you alright? I'm sorry I couldn't go easy on you. No, it's okay. You weren't your usual self, but I could tell by your eyes that there was something going on. I'm sorry too. Did I hurt you? Kinda, yeah. I sure wouldn't want to get into it with you again. Hey, did I say things that offended you earlier? Um, yes. You did. I don't need to know what I said. I just wanted to see if my guess was right. It looks like our enemy has the power to confuse our senses. My first opponent was Yosuke, and he told me a similar story after we fought. Huh? You said something bad to Yosuke-kun too? What did you tell him? Y you sure you want to know? What kind of people are you? Hmm? Oh, right. We used our personas. Yeah, we should at least explain to her what's going on. it in a nutshell. So, that's what you meant by falling into a TV. Yeah, which makes me believe this school could be a part of your mind that's materialized. The school came from me? That's a lot to swallow. I'm not surprised. Why is it different this time around, though? Usually the victim's shadow appears first.
Teddy who's hosting this tournament. What if he's actually this girl's shadow? I noticed he got agitated when I called him an imposter. A fake Teddy would mean he's someone else using Teddy's form. I see. If this place reflects Miss President's heart, her shadow must be here. And right now, the strongest candidate is... behind the whole shebang, right? And if you came from me, then I gotta own up to the responsibility. A student body president, I can't let this go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, you're being reckless. We'll take care of the shadow. You need to... What? Get out of this TV world? And how am I supposed to do that? Go on. Show me the door. Well... in the announcement room and you're gonna go save her right i might not be as strong as the two of you but i'm no slouch in a fight wouldn't it be better if we went together no don't you understand this world is i know it's dangerous but there's got to be something only i can do to help well that aside i can't leave after causing so much trouble making friends fight each other i'm going on ahead you don't want to waste time arguing yeah You have to go after her. in you. <laughs> you seem flustered, but time has no meaning here.
It seems you've emerged victorious and have come away with a piece of the truth. Though you are in a garden of deceit, you have the vision to go forward. Very impressive. Is that student council president's shadow really the cause of all this then? Who can say? All I know is that you are getting ever closer to the truth. There is one thing I can tell you. If that girl's shadow is the cause of this misfortune, she will face her trial. But it's separate from your fate. You have your own trial to overcome. Keep that to heart. My own trial? Everyone sees various things in you that draw them to you. Salvation. Hope. I myself find fascination in watching over you. Fate may not be the author of your trials, but you are destined to be tested. <laughs>
everything but you don't know anything Be careful. This probably means... <laughs> Is your snout okay, Sensei? Jeez, you're such a klutz! You're still using that form? It's getting old. Why don't you just show your true self? Boy, you got peevish! I don't have any idea what you're talking about! Okay, so who's my next opponent? Woo! Now you're getting into the spirit of things! Let me guess, you're starting to enjoy beating up your friends? <laughs> okay! With the next challenger, come on down! That's what I thought. You're the last of us, after all. <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling you'd be next, too. Chia, you know what they're doing, right? Yeah, I know. The stuff we say gets twisted around so we end up fighting each other, right? Don't worry. You're the son of a bitch who left us as soon as the last case ended, but you're still our good friend. I mean, you have it easy. You're just fighting your friends. I had to keep killing over and over, all because of you humans! More stuff about killing, huh? This president was talking about it earlier, too. This must be. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I'll give you a taste of the pain they put me through! Let's do this, Chia. Well, well, round three of the P1 Grand Prix already. Word on the street is that the carnivore may have a slight advantage. Will you, Senpai, all talk and no skill, manage to eke out a win this time? Let's get this show on the road. Ready? Disappointment!
sad look off your face. This isn't fun at all! I think so. Man, you're strong. I'm kind of shocked at how much of a difference there is between us. So the others are safe too? Oh, what a relief. I was pretty worried. really are tight, aren't you? Makes me jealous. Well, we did spend a whole lot of time together last year because of that case. Sure, I was surprised to hear such weird stuff coming from him, but I know he'd never say any of that to me. Wait a sec. Who are you? Huh? The student council president? You mean ours? That doesn't seem right. I remember the new president being a guy. What are you saying? I'm the student council president. Who else would I be? Mm, I'm pretty sure, though. Maybe if you told me your name, I'd remember. My name... I... My name's... What's wrong? My... Memories... No! I don't want to fight anymore! Why do we have to kill one another? What? No way! Wow! Who is that girl? Did I say something to offend her? She did mention something about her memories. Come to think of it, her memories did seem a little muddled. Maybe she was on the verge of getting them back. What kind of memory would make her go nuts and run away like that? I'll wait here. Make sure you rescue her, okay? So many invisible walls, one after another. Miss President can pass through them. I don't know if I can keep up the pursuit.
Hi. Can you hear me? Please answer me. That voice. Is that you, Rise? The real one? Thank goodness. I've been all alone since that weird fake Teddy captured me. And then you were all fighting each other. Where are you now, Rise? Can you locate where I am? I'm sorry, I don't think there's time. I'm stuck in the announcement room. Please, Senpai, you have to hurry. If you don't, he'll... Ah! Rise! What's wrong, Rise? Pardon me for interrupting while you are lost in thought. I didn't mean to startle you. You're... um... It's nice to meet you. My name is Igis. And no, I am not human. You are the one from the introduction video, listed as... The Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel, Narukami-san. Correct? Monaco is important to me. We're calling it a complex of stretching things. Igasan, was it? Why are you here? Our primary objective is the destruction of shadows, but we have come to this world on a different mission. The destruction of shadows? Then does that mean... Yes. I have a persona as well. Though my body is a machine, personas are the strength of the heart after all. And what is this mission of yours? Ooh, who's the honey? 
you in the middle of trying to score with her? As if you didn't know, you're the one who lured us both here. Oh my, did you figure it out? I didn't have a choice after those guys decided on their own to horn in on the fun. You're a bright boy, Sensei. You know what's coming next, don't you? Sorry about this. Do you know the rule of this tournament? Only the victor of each match may move on. Yes? I have nothing against you, but I'm in a hurry for my own reasons. Neither of us, in other words, can back down. Then there should be no hard feelings. will not do. We will speak more of this after one of us wins. Here goes. There's no need to hold back. Indeed. Let us do battle. Welcome to the... I wish you good luck. Oh, 
Now that's the sensei I know. That hunk of junk was no match for you. <laughs> Serves you right. Keep suffering. Friend against friend, beating the heck out of each other. I don't know why you're making us fight, but it's pointless. We aren't fighting because we hate each other. The reason we can fight is because we respect and trust each other. Stupid! You're such a dumbass! What's with you? What are you talking about? Why did you set this tournament up? Pardon my eccentric entrance. What? I will. Oh, please excuse me. I didn't have the faintest idea that someone would be here. Faintest? Fame? Fiend? Something along those lines at any rate. Are you from the Velvet Room? My, is this what's known as being hit on? A forbidden ritual where one human approaches another based solely on appearance and bets on the inner self being equally attractive. What? No, I'm not hitting on you. You just remind me of someone I know. Do you happen to know anyone by the name of Margaret? Margaret? Oh, actually, we should introduce ourselves first. I'm Yu Narukami. Ah, that had slipped my mind also. My name is Elizabeth. Dear me, to hear that name fraught with memories in such a mundane, remote place. Margaret is indeed my sister's name. Can I take that to mean that you are another guest of that room? Elizabeth san huh? Well, I guess that's the case. It's true that there was a time when I visited that room. Let's get it up. Then what you gonna do is drop the hammer down. Drop, run, drop, hammer.
But why is a resident of the Velvet Room here? Did Margaret send you with a message or something? I am currently utterly neglecting my duties. Is that so? I have a certain desire. It may take a very long time for it to be realized. In order for my wish to be granted, I require a power much greater than what I have. The power of the wild card that changes bonds into strength. I have a feeling that the key lies there. I know a little about the wild card, but... I feel that the first glue to granting my wish lies within that power. Glue? Glue? Influenza. Something along those lines at any rate. Might I suggest that you and I fight? Oh, how excited this is making me! My expectations are ascending skyward at mock speed! To be direct, I'd like for you to show me the potential slumbering within you. Um, let me make sure of something, just in case. You understand what I'm saying, right? There's no illusions at work? Such parlor tricks can get stopped! I see. So you're actually in your right mind here. That's kind of... uh... impressive. be able to hold back. Let us do this. Your fate is in the cards. 